We've seen a lot of different types of homes here on House Smarts, whether out in the woods or out on the water, and a variety of architectural styles. We've also seen some extreme homes, and today's story is no different. In particular, the way in which it addresses emergency preparedness. I'm Bruce Francisco, and I am the builder of a former Atlas F missile base built by the government during the Cold War. And I suppose I took on something that a lot of people can't even imagine. I was a builder, I, I was doing a lot of flips, you know, buy, fix, flip, designing homes, you know, from ground up, and I had a good crew of guys. And then I had the opportunity to do something with this missile base. So initially, it wasn't anything to do with a missile base. There was this old military road there, and I said, you know, I bet you I could land my plane there. And we drove out to this overgrown property, and there was a stairwell that came out of the ground. And that was all that was there. So we ended up building my first house up there with no idea what we were going to do with this underground missile base, which was full of just rust and cold and clammy and crazy. And I built a hangar, and we became a private airstrip. And then I said, let's do something crazy with this thing. Let's build this really cool home. So initially, it was, it's nothing about survivalist or anything. We were even thinking that. Uh, we just said, wow, we can build a home in a missile base. So to build into the silo, everything had to be carried down. It wasn't like you could get a delivery down there. So it was very challenging in that sense. Literally, the escape hatch, there was a little hole. I was able to find out how to get through that. There was a ladder that went down. I walked down the stairs and you enter the launch control center. And again, it's a cylindrical structure. So we made an entrance door. So it's like you're entering a home. And so the surface layout was um, uh, just an open floor plan. You know, had a kitchen, had a living room, a, you know, a study area, all in one big room. Uh, centralized around a, a central tower. The central tower, because don't forget, these were made to take a direct nuclear hit. And uh, you'll see a tower that goes up and it fans out to support the roof, because 20 feet below, above that is the surface of the earth. And the idea of a, bla a nuclear blast went off, it would, it would be able to take the impact. So we have a surface home, which has this you know, 28 windows, mountain view home, really cool. And I go, hey, check out my basement. So you go over to this little keypad and these kind of stainless steel looking gates open up and you walk down these stairs and corridors and tunnels through these 2,000 pound blast doors and you enter this 42 foot cylindrical structure and within that we built this 007 secret palace with uh, marble bass jacuzzi tubs sweeping spiral staircases. It was the craziest thing I've ever did. And that's maybe what anyone would ever need and that's all we did on spec. Then you have the silo tube. Picture this, it's kind of crazy, 52 foot diameter, 185 feet deep and that was the crib where the missile was kept. And uh, what are the possibilities with that? Now, we just built a cool home with a cool basement. That's, that's all we did. The potential of that is it could be a set of condos that can ha handle 70 people, hydroponic farming. You could build a habitat within this whole environment, which is all self-contained energy-wise. Uh, you have windmills on the surface, you have earth energy, you have generator systems, you have solar energy, plus whatever comes in on the grid. And you could habitat 70 people for five years into the future even if the Earth lost its atmosphere. So that's the level of the potential of it. But we only brought it to the first level, which is cool. Our intent was never to make it like, oh, survival, you know, because we had never targeted after that. But yet it seems to be a growing market for that. So the next time a zombie apocalypse comes around, you may want to consider building your own bomb shelter. Seriously, though, in the event of a worst case scenario or a catastrophic event, you'll want to take into consideration some of the supplies you might need that'll help you stay safe and sound. Electricity might be scarce, so perhaps have some hand-cranked electronics, such as a radio for emergency broadcast, and also a solar USB charging port. You'll need to eat, so make sure to stock up on plenty of canned goods and keep a few gallons of water handy, maybe even a water filtration pitcher. Most importantly, stock up on antibiotics, not for some zombie virus, but more so for any bacteria you'll encounter along the way. Think smart and think safe.